What time is this? You know what time it is. It's time to get that subscribe button. You know just where it's at right there. I didn't even say it right. Down there, subscribe. <laughs> and it's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this little review started. Child. I just watched Dave Chappelle's The Closer and it's the last you know um, comedy special I guess that Dave Chappelle has with Netflix well maybe not the last rubber but I guess he had like a five comedy special series that he agreed to do with Netflix and everything and this is The Closer one well I always love me some Dave Chappelle I told you I have watched him since you know before he made it big with the Chappelle show on the Comedy Central and I watched him in little nightclubs and I thought he was hilarious then so when he did make it big and have the show I was all about that seeing him uh, you know in town doing bigger venues after that watched just anything that comes out with Dave Chappelle anything any comedy special everything I watch so I knew I was gonna be watching this one and it dropped today on Netflix and I was there bright and early first thing I watched this morning and let me tell you Dave Chappelle just does everything wonderful from you know bringing he will have you in tears from laughing but then also in tears from like emotions like he can bring out every emotion in you. So Dave Chappelle actually had agenda with this one. Oh, he did and he made it known up front because he got so much slack from the LGBTQ communities for the things he said before. And, uh, you know, he's, he was here to, for this closer to address it. He was like, I'm gonna address this issue. And he spent most of the time doing Although that. Although he did have some other kind of jokes up in there, especially about the pandemic and the vaccines. And, and he had this one, he had this one, he was talking about, he got the Johnson and Johnson vaccine and, and started talking about that, that just had me cracking up. I mean, he definitely brought the jokes. I really wanted to hear more about just his experience through the pandemic, I, you know, just his perspective. Because when he started telling those jokes, I was dying like the thing about Dave Chappelle is, you know, any comedian could I've seen many like old school comedians that were like comedians these days have it hard because they're so afraid sometimes to tell a joke because they might cancel them or cancel them on Twitter or this or that. And then even Dave Chappelle said, he's like, oh yeah, they went after me on Twitter, but I didn't care because Twitter isn't a real place. It's true. It's social media. Although I'm a social media person, it's not like you have to live with it. Look at yesterday. Facebook went down all day long and it was one of the nicest days I had. Just got work done, watched shows, did things. You're not like stuck on the social media. Like I said, the comedians have it hard these days. They can tell a joke without fear of getting canceled. But that's what the best jokes are. Those are the ones that d deal the punches. And you know, you know, especially in Dave, look at his show. He could never do the Chappelle show this day and age. He'd be canceled on the Twitter, on the, on the, what's that, the parlor, the, all of them they'd be canceled on, all of them. Every, every, you know, white, right wing, left wing, they'd all cancel him because like his, the jokes are inappropriate, but that's what makes it funny. And that's why I think he was so upset with like the LGBT community getting upset at him because he's like, I, he goes out there, he's like, I don't hate you know, the trans community, I guess that was the joke. I don't even remember the joke that he got upset, they got upset about, but I guess it was the sticks and stones comedy, especially did he made some jokes and people are really upset. And I, I can understand. I can understand. Look, I'm a big girl. I got the big booty. You know, sometimes, you know, when people will say mean spirited things about big people, whatever, it could like kind of dig in there. Like, all right, that was uncalled for. But when it's like made as a joke and you know the person saying it isn't mean-spirited and doing it intentionally and it's just to make fun of you know everybody i can get along with that because you know what i am one of those that as long as you make fun of everybody <laughs> you include everybody that's equal <laughs> that's equal don't just make fun of one race or one you know gender whatever you make fun of everybody equal opportunity but i even said you know data can bring the the, the laughs but oh he brought the tears too. He had me crying, bawling. I mean, my eyes are probably still red from it because he got into this story, true story. And that's one of the good things about Dave Chappelle does. He brings out true stories to relate to where 
he got the flack from, you know, the Sticks and Stones community and he started telling, you know, our community, Sticks and Stones special and the LGBT community get mad at him and they started trying to cancel him on Twitter and that he tells the story of this friend. He has Daphne who's a transgender and, you know, tells the story of them meeting and, you know, her opening shows for him and, and all this, these things. And then you get into it, you know, where he started getting canceled and that same Daphne you know, took up for him on Twitter, made a statement about he's a good person and, and, you know, all this stuff. And then I'm going to cry talking about it because then he talked about six days later after they took up for him, she committed suicide because the trans community went after her for even taking up for him. And that has to have you thinking, that has to have you thinking, oh, look, I'm going to cry, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, getting canceled and, and all that. Sure, I mean, there's times when, you know, it's appropriate and all. But I mean, the very person in this instance that you were standing up for, a trans woman, a trans brother and sister, you went after and then they don't know why they committed suicide. I know, but I mean, that has to be, you know, a driving factor in some way. I mean, they, they could be thinking about that for a long time. But for it to happen six days later, and she was totally just attacked and everything for taking up for Dave Chappelle. It feels like it's going against the, the thing you're trying anyway to try to make, you know, that's one of the, you hear well, trans men and women have like the highest suicide rates and, and all this stuff. And now they're being attacked by their own community. It has to be hard. I even went on Twitter because I was like, is this a true story? Dave Chappelle, well, I was Googling in the middle of it. Dave Chappelle, oh, it's a true story. But I was looking, you go on Twitter now and, and search, you know, Daphne and Dave Chappelle and you will see the stories and, and the picture of the per. Oh, it just, it, it hit even harder after that. So anyway, Dave Chappelle definitely had an agenda with this, this uh, special, The Closer. And I think he proved once again that he's the great for many reasons. Many reasons, brings out the laughs, always has humor in something, but also brings out, you know, has thought provoking, you know, emotion, pro emotion provoking, like he does it all. And that's why he is the GOAT. <laughs> G-O-A-T, greatest of all time. I think he is in this special. It's kind of sad that you know, Netflix is the last one, but who knows, like maybe they'll sign on something new and I'm just, I just want to take in everything Dave Chappelle. Just keep bringing us stuff and I will be watching it there for you, Dave. I loved it. If you've seen it, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs and all that. Until next time, y'all.